when you had a sitting president, President Edgar Lungu, saying that if I lose this election, all of you, my ministers, will be in trouble. Why do you think he said that? He said that because he know that they were all criminals, including Edgar Lungu. But what is happening? Almost watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean, from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi, lovely viewers. It's me again, your one and only Mutatim Pundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Is this what we fought for? We did not fight for the rich to come and become richer. We fought so that the poor can benefit. Eh? We, we fought for the poor. What is happening? What is going on, my president? What is happening? I'm not talking about the, the, the price of commodity. Forget those things. Those things are happening all over the world. But the things that I'm mentioning now, the issue of fighting a, a corruption, where has it gone? Why is uh, Stephen Campiongo still gallivanting all over? Why is he not in prison? Eh? Why is uh, why is uh, 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 um, uh, uh, what is the name of the why is uh, Fet Musonda not in prison? Eh? Eh? Why is uh, Boman Lusambo not in prison? Eh? The people that looted, there was a man that was arrested. I think on the copper belt. That man said, I want to talk to State House. Where is that man? Today, that man, I, I think he has, he has been set free. What is going on? Does he mean that... Uh, does he mean that... Uh, when you get into State House, there is a, a strong demon there that makes you forget where you are coming from or what eh? I love you so much my president but personally to me see one with what is going on especially I'm not talking about the 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 cost of living you are doing your best in those area because this is happening all over the world even here in Nigeria petrol is the the price of petrol was at uh, 160 now it's 200 and something it, it has increased everywhere in the country and because it has increased the price and the things of labor have gone up but this is not the main case the main case is why are you people not taking the fight of corruption very serious eh? what is going on who 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 is responsible for this eh? Let me answer this. Answer this. Hmm? What is going on? What is happening? When I speak like this, people say, Ah, see a one. See has been bought by PF. PF don't have money anymore. They don't have money. They have managed to move all their money outside the country. And they have managed to bury most of them. Because of what? UPND government is slow to fight on, on the fight against corruption. They have moved it. When you had a sitting president, President Edgar Lungu, saying that if I lose this election, all of you, my ministers, will be in trouble. Why do you think he said that? He said that because he know that they were all criminals, including Edgar Lungu. But what is happening? 
almost eight months in power not even a single criminal convicted president hh you you have been betrayed a lot the people that have surrounded you are criminals they are highness they are not willing to fight and the earlier you wake up the better the earlier you wake up the better the earlier you wake up the better your men the people that you call your men have been bought by the chinese i thank god you saw it openly with your foreign affairs minister it's a very corrupt man extremely corrupt i'm telling you with full chest is corrupt the quicker you address them the better there is a man in state house i think he's a senior principal secretary what 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 mr brentford machila somewhere like something like brentford machila these are the people that are telling you what to do this man mr brentford mr machila has totally disconnected you from the people he has totally disconnected you my president from the people personally to me i feel appreciated because you're a good man but at the end of the day it's not it's not me it's about the people mr brentford machila machila what what i don't know what he call himself he's, i see i think he's one of the senior secretaries there this man has captured you and control you with remote this man does not have connection with the ground he does not have connection with the youths he does not have connection with the people but he's the one in charge it's blocking people from coming to see you it's blocking people from talking to you he cannot do anything apart from corruption but he doesn't want people that have the knowledge to come and help you as we are talking today his excellency if you don't know that youths are complaining youths are crying has mr bradford told you this eh mr machila has she told you that youths are complaining he hasn't told you he's telling you that everything is okay personally to me i i don't want you to fail if you fail people will laugh at me all over the world if you fail people are going to call me all sorts of name your failure is my failure but you see people like brainford the one who is telling you who to see what to do bringing people to you if you don't know it's blocking people that have knowledge people that can contribute to zambia is blocking them sit him down and tell him that he's not your father and he cannot capture you before you got into power you made it clear that state house will be open for everybody why is mr machila blo blocking people from coming he doesn't know what is going on the politics that you people are playing in upnd today is the same politics that pf played meaning there is no difference absolutely no difference for example Mr. Machila and the people that are very close to you, those people that are blocking other people from coming to see you, they are not telling you that no matter how you grow the party, if the youths are not happy, you are not going to win election. <laughs> they didn't tell you. Even if you want, go and carry all the leaders in UPN in, in PF and bring it in your party. And the youths are not happy, you are not going anywhere. I have prayed and worked so hard to make sure that you go beyond 2026 and reach 2030 there. That time I'm going to be happy. 
as you are coming down from the seat i am coming down from supporting upnd because apart from you upnd is a cadre of it's a party of hyenas they just came to eat there are few people like mrs dorin she's working very very hard there are there are few people that are working dorin mamba she's working extremely hard okay eh, 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 there is a lot that i can say over that area but this man that you have brought close to you and they are not telling you how how it is done in africa how it is done today how is done in this generation you can you can i'm telling you you can even go to Eddie Galungu and carry him and bring him to UPND so long as the youths are not happy you will not win election is it not the same thing that happened pf when they we are in power we are buying people from UPND have you forgotten what has entered into you people UPND people what has entered inside of you is it madness or what or what what is going on there are these few people and and actually UPND do not understand politics you won election on a silver plate because the youths we are campaigning for you the whole across the country the youths we are if you go to to Luapula there there is snack unit that was always fighting pf you go to lapula there there is a, a cave kelvin there is kelvin there you go you go anywhere you come to lusaka there is b flow yeah? you go to you go to copper bay there is a pilato in any place where you enter there was a youth that was crying and fighting for you you have already forgotten that has already left your mind criminals have been employed in government and they are busy looting they don't care they don't even understand the system that brought them in they didn't understand now what the system that brought you in are the youths i'm telling you are the youth the youth are the people that brought you in if Mr. Machila is the one telling you to say everything is okay in the country, I want you to leave him and come out and hear from yourself. It's not the high cost of living. No. Look, we can explain to the people of Zambia. We can explain. It's happening all over the world. It's understandable. But what is happening with the people that campaign for you? The youth. Nothing is happening. If they are telling you that something is happening, forget it there is nothing happening things are okay for them so they can lie to you they did it to Eddie Galung Eddie Galung was busy buying your people at the end of the day they even managed to buy Charles Kakoma your closest friend they they managed to buy uh, 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 what is her name uh, uh, um, what is the name of that one from Kafue there are so many of them Charmaine, how many of them am I going to mention buying them thinking that they have won election and the people of zambia we are just watching them like this at the end of the day what happened they lost your party has adopted that same structure a party that came into power without even looking after the people that fought for them or just open up and say come everybody must come come and eat with us eh? A party that just came into power you are not even looking after the youths it's only because i spoke the other day then your youth minister went and called for youth in daba after calling for youth in daba what happened what has happened to the youths tell me what has happened to the youths the truth is that akainde chilema has the heart for the people he want to he want everything to be okay for the people but criminals are the ones surrounding him and they are jeopardizing him i can assure you that of all the whole ministers that president hh employed few people love him many of them hate him they want him to fail so that they can take over 
somebody like Felix Motati. Felix Motati, even of recent, went to have meetings at a mobilization meeting. And Felix Motati, a minister of science and what, 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 in the government of UPND, went to have a meeting, three good meeting with his party members, not UPND, his own party members. Three good meetings, and he didn't have a single meeting with UPND, the UPND party. These are the people that have surrounded President Daka in the dilemma. And these are the people making decisions. You don't love him, you don't love the people of Zambia, you have an interest for him to face so that you can become the president. And, and when people want to go and give information to the president, Mr. Machila blocks them. Eh? Three good meetings. Tell me, before you work for me, you must love me. Yes. Before you work for me, you must love me. We cannot be building this church and you are busy building your own. Eh? Three good meetings. Three good meetings. Mr. Mutati, let him deny it. Three good meetings with his, I don't know if it's NDs or MDs, what, what. Leaders, he's in UPN, he's busy organizing his own party. Their desire is not to see that HH succeed. They want him to fail so that they can take over. And I want to tell Mutati, you can never be president of Zambia unless I die. When I tell you something, just believe it. After President Aka in the Etilema, forget it. It can never happen. You are the people that are frustrating the effort of... HH does not sleep. HH does not eat. If you are a psychologist, if you are a psychologist, you have brain. You, you don't even need to be a prophet. When you look at HH, you will know that that guy is under pressure. It's different from Edgar Galungu. Edgar Galungu had the mind of a criminal. He was a criminal. He didn't care. That's why you see him, what he cared about was his look, paint his hair, wear nice clothes, come out and take picture. That was Edgar Lungu for you. He didn't care about what you are going through. A man that was asked about Kadas, he said, Kadas are part of me. I cannot do without Kadas. So he didn't care. He didn't even have vision for the people. He had the mind to come and eat. And he ate. But when you look at HH, you will know that this guy is not eating. Eight months in power, the number one citizen ha having access to, to billions upon billions, but his time is still flat. He's not eating, he's not sleeping. He wants to do things, he wants things to move forward, but he's being frustrated. Frustration everywhere. And my pain is that President HH, you know exactly, you know. All these things that I'm saying. But you cannot do anything. Fire these people. Believe me. You see. Don't make the same mistake that PF have made. The same mistake that Eddie Galungu made. Afraid of people. There is no one. Even if you remove Garin Combo from UPND. UPND will still win election in 2026. I have said it. Bef so long as I've said it, you have you win. That don't let's let re start removing criminals now. You know them. You have the report on your table. Even if Mr. Machila is trying to prevent you from knowing reality, even Mr. Machila remove him. Is the one that is deceiving you. There are people that want to come and tell you how they are going to help the youth of Zambia, but they don't have access to you. When they want to come, Mr. Machila blocks them. For what reason? Eh? Is Mr. Machila the only person that campaigned for HH? Eh? People want to come and tell HH what is going on on the ground, but they don't have access to him. Including the people that are working at State House. They don't have access to HH. For what reason? What for? Eh? Fire them. There is no HH. Must, you must know that the youth of Zambia love you. 
And that love that they have for you is going gradually, gradually. Because of what? They are losing trust. You caught faith and let faith go. Then you go and they punish innocent young children that we are dancing. Innocent babies, they don't know anything. They were dancing. You punish them. You banish them. You blacklisted them. You didn't blacklist faith. Faith is still doing business. Faith still has millions upon millions. Eh? Why? Eh? Eh? What is going on? Eh? The moment you stop, the moment you stop being a uh, be like a baby to these guys. Things will start moving. His Excellency, as quick as possible, start firing these people. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Start firing these people. I have said it, and I will say it again. The reason why you see somebody like Campiongo coming out today and making noise is because they have already cleaned their ways with the police, with the deck, with the judges. They know that nothing is going to happen. That's why you will see a whole cr a criminal, an assassinator like Campiongo, who tried to bring down the plan of a president, still moving. HH, oh, I wish... I think you have your calling was supposed to be a preacher, a, a, a man of God, because you are too holy. You are, you are so. I think you, you if you can just give me up. If I had the opportunity, even for a day, as a president, believe me, eh, things will change. This is Africa. A country is not a church. You have given enough space. You have given enough hand. This thing is going to affect you badly. You want to be in good books with everybody. You even took your phone and called Eddie Galung to come for Rupia Banda Beria. For what reason? Please, for what? What for? This relationship you want to create with the people. The relationship that you want to establish with the PF, what is it for? So does it mean that we are fools? As that fought them, we are fools. Eh? We are fools. We are we know that Eddie Galungu stole a lot of money. Billions upon billions. And we call him a criminal with our heart, with full chest. And you call him that you want to be good to him. For what reason? What was the calling? Those people that are advising you to start worshipping Edgar Lungu, they are, they are people that can never change. I thank God that Edgar Lungu called you a hypocrite. Because the people that advise you are not advising you well. Edgar Lungu was supposed to be begging the people of Zambia and begging you for all the evil things that he did to you. Not you begging him. For what reason? What for? What are you calling him on the phone? What are you inviting him for? This is... A country can never be ruled like a church. This is not a church. If you want to be holy, you open a church. People will come and be holy in the church. This is a country. You must put your feet on the ground and, the, and behave like a president. Don't be this oh, holy, holy. For what reason? PF people don't deserve that holiness. They made the people of Zambia go through hell. They made the people of Zambia suffer. And you come and be holy to them. What for? Eh? You come and call Eddie Galungu. Calling him for what? Who is he? What was they calling for? He was, Eddie Galungu was supposed to be, in fact, he was actually supposed to be thanking you. If it was for me, by now he was going to be serving life sentence. I don't, the, the, I'm telling the gospel truth. Because if Eddie Galungu won election, you, President Akain de Chilema, you are going to be in prison by now. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You were, he said it himself. You are going to be arrested and put in prison by now. And then you come and treat them with glove. You say you are doing diplomatic or you call it uh, systematic or uh, methodological. Methodological what? Since you are doing methodological, this 
criminals have already sorted their ways. Look at what is happening at Concord, Constitutional Court. All the people that we know that PF tried everything possible to rig the election. They did everything possible. There is evidence, but the court is busy acquitting them. The court is pushing them back to parliament. And you think that you are, you are, you are, you, 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 you church, country is not a church. Until you stand up and start firing people. Up to today, PF is still running the country. Because you are too holy. You want to bring everybody on board. Please, that, that is not how a country is ruled. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.